So now the last part of the day is something we have discussed earlier, but I want to summarize it and see that you're all well versed and know what to do in case you come up with this topic, and that is aliens. I already talked in the first lecture in the beginning about a cosmic war and alien war. Remember? The first day, I think, the second day. So, our planet is designed for humans and animals of all kinds. And our humanity was invaded and used through many, many years by other cosmic breeds and cosmic um, spiritual beings which were not of our planet and we call them alien because they're alien to our planet. And they usually used humanity as guinea pigs and slaves or mixed breeds, breed mixed uh, kinds of uh, spiritual beings in physical body. So doing this uh, clearing of the problem of aliens and their, and their technology is something that is relatively easy to clear with the one method but it caused severe problems in real life if people are affected by them. So, I mentioned earlier that I prefer to use the Creator and the Archangels and the angelic uh, services of the Creator to help us because the universe is divided to light and dark, even though we have eternal light and many worlds above of unity and total light, some parts of the universe are still not elevated enough and they use their technology, knowledge and needs to overcome humanity. And since humans and people are under veil of forgetfulness on the planet Earth and they don't have spiritual vision, they don't see them, but they are affected by them just like entities, except that they're much more sophisticated. They don't look dark. Some of them look like the greys, they look grey. And some of them are in different forms. But they use technology and energetic technology, which is much more advanced than humans have or developed yet. And they use these technologies to supervise or to monitor or to uh, govern and activate humans the way they want, not the way the soul wants. And it is an invasion and invalidation of the law of free will, which is universal law. And I mentioned it. So they're not of light if they do that. The reason they investigate humans, as I mentioned, is because humans have the capacity for emotional function. And most alien breeds come with mental capacity and spiritual capacity, but they don't follow the law of free will, and they investigate human ability to have feelings and how their feelings work. Energetically, mentally, and how the uh, physiology and, uh, and DNA function with emotional different varieties. We don't like it. Animals don't like it. And it's kind of brutal to do things like that to humans, being treated like lab animals. So, aliens are universal breeds. They are from other universes even, planets. They have different forms, they change forms, they have usually control patterns, as I mentioned, like um, implants and wires. Implants and wires alter our consciousness to what they want us to think. It alters our uh, uh, neurological functions. 
it interfered with the transmission of energy in our spiritual bodies and physical bodies. They cause pain and dysfunction through our systems wherever they are. If they implant crystals, the crystals telecast frequencies which are not in alignment with our soul and our energy bodies, soul bodies, and cause dysfunction in that area and illness and diseases in the physical body or dysfunction in the organs. And medically, when doctors look at the physical body, they don't find anything wrong and they say, well, your liver is weak or your brain is this or your stomach is that. And they find all kind of explanation, but they don't know the reason for it. Also, when these uh, implants are, or crystals are present in our crown, head, or body, they cause severe weakness and dysfunction, especially mental and spiritual, and many times physical. It is one of the causes for disease in humanity, starting from the spirit to the physical, really. And on top of that, as I mentioned earlier, there are the parasites of the alien species, which are octopuses, I think I mentioned it earlier. You saw it before, yes? You saw the pictures? And on top of those, um, there are also the reptilian parasites which may come, which are more like lizards, dragons, uh, alligators, crocodiles, and things like that. And they interfere with our health, especially if they swarm the soul. Uh, and dragons. These cause severe cancer, very aggressive cancer in the physical body and a lot of mental disorders according to whatever the program is set for in the equipment. I'm summarizing it because I talked a lot before about it. What I want for us to do now because we're, we're doing this course as preparation for the third course about soul wounds. Many soul wounds have to do with alien interferences. Okay, so we need to know if there's an alien problem, we need to know how to handle it. So the first thing we do is to ask if there's alien interference in our spiritual system. That's the first thing. The second thing we do is we ask for where are they affecting us in our system. And it can also be on our divine soul and godly soul. So it's not only on the earth level soul dimensions. When we get the answer, if we have alien effect, yes or no, the first thing we ask is for alien war. We ask the Creator, the Archangels, and all the armies of heaven to remove the uh, actual alien, actual aliens, by the way, they're, they're, they may be bigger than what it is in the picture. They're not always small. They may be larger than that, sometimes larger than the soul. We may ask how many and ask to have them removed with all their equipment. So what is the equipment that the alien usually have on the humans? They always, when they are there, have implants, yeah, implants, several implants, not just one. Finding one is rare. Usually they have several implants. 
with the implants they have wires with the wires there may be crystals there may be small crystals or large brain crystals or heart crystals remember the picture from the day before so they may be small or large small are in the organ organs in the body and the large ones are on the brain or in or blocking the heart okay or both so the large are in the uh, brain block or a uh, heart okay we have to look out for those too for the truth detector they may be tagging tags like to mark you where you are so they can always find you like we put on animals in the jungle to know where they are so the tags and they are parasites With the parasites, as I said, the most common parasites are octopus. Yeah? Parasites, we may have octopus. I don't know how you write it. With the U, octopus? O, o octopus. Uh, octo, right. Octo is eight. Octopus, eight octopus. There may be lizards. 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 Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Lizards. With an E or the name? E. 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 Lizards. E. E. Okay, lizards. There may be dragons. And there may be chameleons. Ka uh, chameleons. And there may be um, crocodiles or alligators. Crocs. which are all reptilian variations. Rep snakes? Uh, snakes are also, uh, it's, it's possible to have snakes, but they're not only from aliens. Reptilians are having common denominator with snakes, except snakes don't have legs. And uh, they go like this, and the lizard go like that. So all these can be found in big, in different sizes with alien intervention. When you have when you have dragons, usually dragons cause severe rage attacks and violence, severe violence, and the dragons spit fire and when there are big a lot of them around a person he needs to be in a jail in a and tied because they're always extremely violent and people who have chameleon and crocodiles on them are extremely stuck in certain thinking way and there's no way you can move them you cannot train them you cannot educate them they're stuck and octopus cause severe cancer Violent cancer. All these cause interference with human wellness. So I'm telling you this, it's not nice to hear about it. But we have to clear it out of us and out of people who really suffer. So we ask for alien 
war and removal of all their equipment and all their parasites. Five forces and blending. So the two requests, alien war and removal of their equipment, removal of their parasite, for the five forces. After that, we can check whatever is left. If there's anything left, we ask again to clear it. The angels do that. Yes? We just do a checklist to see all of them are out. If there are any, we check that they're all out. After that, healing. Healing, healing essence of the Creator, if we need soul parts back, all that. We need to do the healing, the normal routine for healing. And reconnection again to the Creator. Because if we have large crystals on the brain and the heart, we need to reconnect. Because they cause total, um, a total disconnection from the soul and from the Creator's consciousness. And it's a problem because the, these people never feel connected. They always feel disconnected and, I have, and all the symptoms from that. You understand? So this is an invasion problem of uh, universal forces. And um, we ask to clear all that. Okay? Question? Uh, for you, reptilians or uh, alien species? Yes. A type of alien species? The type of alien species, <laughs> reptilians. Okay, thank you. Yes, and they are not supportive of wellness for souls. They use them as, as a substance to be parasite <coughs> on or to change their consciousness or behavior. And usually they suck their life force out. That's why you're not asking for what he wants for. Because it's included, it's in, included alien in alien war is for all that. And the aliens themselves. And their gods and their emperors and their commanders. Sorry, but I cannot talk together with others. It's hard enough to speak all day. Sorry, it's really difficult to talk when others are talking. Please respect that. Question. Yes, about reptilians that he asked, is is it people that seem like persons but are uh, that are from other universes but look like you and me? But the spiritual system doesn't look look like a soul. Their body, they may be invading a, a physical human body, but their soul does not look human. When you see spiritually and you look at their soul, you see there's something else in there, not a human. Even though the physical body is appear in human, but their behavior and their manners and their spirituality is totally different. And there are many movies about it. There are many movies about it. Men in Black. Whoever saw the movies Men in Black? <laughs> it's a great uh, allegory. What? Two and three. There are three movies of the Men in Black. Yes, and Siri. Three what? V. 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 It's also a movie. A movie. Sorry. Uh -huh. The movie V? Yes. Ah, I haven't heard of that. Thank you for telling me. I didn't know the movie V is also about that. There are many movies about um, all kinds of things about these. Uh... All right. So what I want us to do, uh, it's 10 to 6 already in the evening. What I want for us to do now is to check with our truth detectors, which are working now, if there are any interferences of aliens, which soul levels there are, alien war, removal of all implants and all parasites of all kinds, check whatever is left, healing, reconnection, and then we're done for today. Okay?